Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, where we break down the latest ASX announcements from public companies that are doing interesting things. Today's Bulls and Bears report is brought to you by Venture Minerals, ASX code VMS. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now on 6PR by the Managing Director of Venture Minerals, Andrew Radonich. Hi, Andrew. How are you, Matt? Venture Minerals is a diversified minerals exploration company with a portfolio of projects that stretch across Australia from the Riley Iron Ore Mine in northern Tasmania to its emerging copper zinc discovery at Golden Grove North in WA. The company has a curious mix of commodities. It also involves nickel and even tungsten and it has attracted some increased market attention recently with the company's share price quadrupling from its lows back in March. Andrew, Golden Grove North looks to be emerging as a potential discovery for you. What are some of the best recent drill numbers out of that project? Well, look, the, the recent drilling we've done, which is drilling underneath some previous work done by an iron ore company in 2008, you know, we got five metres at 1.3 zinc, 0.5% copper, a gram of gold and, and seven grams of silver. So uh, we're pretty exciting. I think we're uh, we're really onto a system here that can yield a discovery. Okay, so some encouraging early numbers. What are the other geological goodies that that project is harbouring in your view? Like most of VMS targets, you know, we think there's a group of these clustered together and, and Golden Grove has something like 13 deposits over its 10 strike kilometres. But we've got a nice five kilometre long section around our AUKUS prospect. We've got Vulcan West and Vulcan North and, you know, the EM is lighting up several targets there. So we're seeing uh, what looks like a mirror image of it. OK, so where exactly is Golden Grove North and just how much ground are you controlling up there? Well, Golden Grove North, the southern end of our tenure is only 10 kilometres from Golden Grove and, and you know, that's 350-odd kilometres just north northeast of Perth. And uh, so it's very, very accessible and uh, we've got something like 300 square kilometres, which hasn't been in the hands of one single company for at least the last three decades. We're pretty privileged to have such an opportunity. Have you managed to get your hands on any historical exploration results? Are there any up there? Oh, yes, certainly. Uh, we, we found that there'd been a fair bit of, you know, some nice shallow gold hits, you know, six metres at a, at a couple of grams within, you know, six to the surface and you know we followed up with getting 23 percent copper rock chips and three grams of gold as well so you know it's, it's shallow but certainly you know that was all done back when the 80s and 90s when you know the technology drill deeper wasn't quite available and i see just very quickly you're in a jv with chalice gold mines chalice is on everybody's lips at the moment what does that deal look like well uh, chalice are going to spend 3.7 million dollars over four years to earn 70 uh, percent and then venture has the opportunity to put funding into hold this position but $300,000 have to be spent by July next year by Chalice and you know, we've done a fair bit of work on the ground so we're hoping that uh, that will lead to the, the drill bit into the ground and, and maybe making another drill on our discovery. And that's in the southwest, I understand. Uh, Andrew Rodonich from Venture Minerals, thanks very much for joining me on 6PR today. And remember, Bulls and Bears is only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney. Thanks for listening to Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6br.com.au and click the public companies tab.